We normally like to go for organic ways of controlling uh, pests and diseases. And today I'm gonna show you just a few uh, things that we do to do it organically. Well, you can also do synthetic pesticides and fungicides, but you know, there's also a risk of, uh, you know, having chemical residues in our food. We are what we eat, so it's important for you to ensure that you use the most organic uh, ways of controlling your pests and diseases. Uh, now, on my left here, uh, colored greens on a floating raft system. The floating raft system on this side has uh, an invasion by a caterpillar, also known as a leaf miner. And uh, as you can see, uh, this is what is happening to the leaf. Um, I'm also going to get the leaf from a tomato. And you can see it is the same. I'm gonna hold it like that. So you can see how the, you know, the, the caterpillar is doing damage on the, on the leaves. And basically uh, for leaf miner, for aphids, for thrips, uh, for spider mites and all this, we have different products. And today I'm just going to just name and show you some. We have uh, pyrethrum, pyrethrum extract. The reason uh, we put it in a, you know, in a bag that does not allow light is because it can disintegrate faster. It's an organic product. So the way we extract it, uh, we advise people to put it in a, in a bag that does not allow light to go through. Uh, in a cool, dark, and dry place. So organic pyrethrum extract is available. Uh, we also teach people how to extract neem. These are neem leaves. In Swahili we call them mwarubaine. Uh, here it has more than 40 uses so it's very very good. We normally dry these uh, neem leaves uh, the neem tree leaves, and uh, once we are sun, we sun dry. We, with a mortar and pestle, we get the powder, and you know we can train you on how to do, uh, how to extract uh, neem. Uh, we also have garlic. We do use garlic. We can also train you how to extract uh, the garlic from fresh, uh, fresh garlic. And uh, you know, you must be wondering why we decided to do chili here. Uh, now, what we do is uh, we normally mix garlic and chili and molasses. Uh, molasses. Molasses is a byproduct. Uh, in the sugar industry. So what we do is we grate the garlic using a grater. We grate into a fine paste, uh, like 10, 10 of the bulbs. We grate and mix with half a kilo of uh, molasses. And then we add like five or 10 of this, you know, it's still organic. 10 uh, pieces of chili and then we mix that together and sieve into a sprayer. Uh, especially the, the, the recipe I'm talking about is for a 20 liter uh, sprayer, you know, the knapsack sprayer. So 10 bulbs of this, 10 of chili and half a kilo of molasses. Then you mix with water and sieve before putting into the sprayer so that it does not block uh, the, the, the sprayer. And then just before you start spraying, uh, especially if you're doing outdoor 
farming, uh, it is advisable for you to add one tablespoonful of liquid soap in order for it to stick on the leaves for a longer time. Uh, ensure that you do that. But for controlled environments such as this greenhouse or a greenhouse, then it is you can choose to use the liquid soap or not. It doesn't matter. So uh, that is the mix that we do. And uh, garlic is very, very good. You know, it has antibacterial properties. It has antifungal properties, you know, and it, it, it's also both a repellent and a killer of, uh, you know, harmful uh, pests. Uh, we do also advise that if you are going to use that recipe for the, bar, for the garlic bulbs, the molasses and the chili, it is advisable for you to ensure that you, you're not doing beekeeping because the recipe is, you know, is a very strong insecticide. So it might also, uh, you know, kill uh, the bees and we need the bees for sweet strawberries, for good pollination of many, many, many things. So basically there are also organic fungicides. Uh, we also use seaweed extract in order to boost the immunity of these uh, crops. Uh, for, for the leaf miner, as I showed you, we've not had to use a synthetic product. We are still uh, doing organic. The pyrethrum and the neem have been very good, especially with rips that, you know, come and invade the, the flowers, you know. Uh, so uh, we have strawberries here. Uh, which will be which are flowering. We have chilies that are flowering. We have uh, tomatoes that are flowering and fruiting. So basically, we 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 know that the neem extract and the pyrethrum extract will really help us uh, keep off the red spider mites, the the thrips, uh, and all those stubborn uh, leaf miners. For organic control, you are, it is advisable to start early. It is advisable for you to start early on uh, and keep, keep at it. Uh, also, very good scouting. Some pests will hide uh, under the leaves. So even the spraying, the way you spray, do you just spray on top and forget about the bottom? So you should spray on the top and the bottom of the leaves. Also, when scouting for pests and diseases, always check the top and the bottom of leaves yeah so uh, we can train you on this we can do a kitchen garden for you we can do a commercial setup as you've seen our videos for both aquaponics and hydroponic systems so feel free uh, even if you are far away from uh, Kenya and the general East Africa region with this uh, COVID-19 movement restrictions uh, we we can train you via online platforms uh, if you want backup videos we'll provide if you want backup notes we'll provide uh, during the training uh, we have trained people online who are based in west africa ethiopia uh, and some are within our country but for different reasons they are not able to reach our demo farm. We can train you online. We also do on-site training uh, with uh, early bookings because, as you know, with the social distance, uh, the social distancing, uh, we have to be very vigilant how many people we, uh, we can allow, you know, into this space. Uh, so basically, you book early and pay. Uh, and then, you know, we can, we can get it on. So whether online or on site, uh, whether you want to order seedlings, uh, whether it is a market that you're looking for, value addition training, we do all that. So feel free to contact us, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, you know, hit the bell 
uh, button so that you are always notified whenever we upload uh, new content. We also have our website grandiaafrica.com and uh, you can also email us for more requests, for more information, for better clarification. We are here for you. Thank you very much and be safe, stay safe.